A growing number of children in the United States are diagnosed with some form of autism, and as their parents will tell you, caring for them can be challenging. And with that worry comes a tremendous amount of worry for later years. When you ask, what happens after I'm gone? We want to talk about that today. Dan Burns is the father of an autistic child. He joins us now to talk about a plan to help care for children when the parents can no longer do it. First of all, welcome. This is such Thank an you. important message, yes. and I know we really embrace autism and, and all of the causes surrounding it. This plan is the Autism Trust USA. Explain what that is. Uh, it's, it's a network of rural and urban villages where adult children with autism can live and work and um, give back to society. So a group home situation. Yes, that's that's the old model. Okay. We prefer to call it a village. A village, I yeah. know. I thought I would at least throw that in there because at least that's comforting. What, what gave you this idea? Well, uh, when, when Ben graduated high school, the rose-colored glasses came off. He had an interview with Texas Department of Rehabilitative Services. They called me into the room. They said, uh, I told him to show me a fork and a spoon. Uh, he, I told him to point to the, uh, to the fork. He did nothing. Your child is too severely disabled for us to help him. Uh, he's not qualified for services. And I thought, my God. Uh, the future that we had planned for Ben simply disappeared. Mm. Now, I know there are hundreds of thousands of, of kids like this moving through the school system. Some mm -hmm. say 700,000 uh, moving through. It's a huge wave, and they're going to be coming out the other end. At that point of graduation, age 22, entitlement ends. So what do they do next? Right. That's Autism Trust is our answer to that question. Okay, you have an important event tonight where you can educate more families. If you have a child with autism, you're going to want to head here. The Autism Trust USA at the Angelica Film Center. What will, what will families learn? Well, uh, mainly they will learn what, what we are doing with mm -hmm. the Autism Trust USA. They're also, going to be, they're also going to be learning about some of the optimism associated with autism. We're going to have Dr. Andy Wakefield there uh, talking about the research that he's done for the past 15 years. Uh, and Rupert Isaacson, who's the author of The Horse Boy. So there are just uh, there are events all, all night, and you need to get networked and find out about this Autism Trust. Thank you so much, Dan Burns. We appreciate your time.